Charles. What's up, fellow journeyers? Charleston, man. Love me some Charleston. Now from Tennessee, one of our vacation spots would be like the Charleston area, the Savannah area. So we've been to Charleston, but we've never really like been to Charleston. It's like vacation mode, you know, of like three or four days. So excited to get to spend a little bit of time here, show you guys a few things around Charleston. And so I don't know what you think about when you think of Charleston, but this area is full of awesome stuff to do. You got the old city charm, you've got some outdoorsy stuff that's really awesome with trails and lakes, and you've got the beach, you've got like the Beautiful live oak trees we've been seeing all around us. You ready to see a big tree? Yeah. This is called the angel oak tree. Do angels live in it? Do you think <laughs> angels live in it? This is really cool. Wow. It's yeah. one of the coolest trees ever. Yeah, this is pretty spectacular. Hey. Wow. Yeah, baby. That's why it says no climb, you'll get stuck. Because you'll get stuck and they don't want you to hurt the tree. Mm. Aw, you a tree hugger? I think my favorite part. I mean, this is awesome. It just keeps going. Look at this. Look how the branches come out over here. Man, even under the ground, and then back up. It says this tree is what they think around 400 years old or more, and all the limbs are hollow. Isn't that crazy? Hollow. Hollow. This is like something out of a fairy tale or something. It's nuts. She's my hand. Oh, it's in his hand. Mm-hmm. Loving tummy time. Hey. You sound like your mom when she works out. Hey. <laughs> Come on, buddy. You can do it. Can you do back to front? Uh -huh. Just not feeling it today. Not feeling it. Worn out. A little bit longer day than usual today. This will actually be our first official. Um, let's wait for a run. It's like a sweaty mess. Be our first official. Not just exploring in the morning or just in the afternoon day. We've been doing like, with JJ, like, it's just, it's hard. <laughs> so we've been doing like short little bursts of two, maybe three hours. I think the whole family's bracing themselves because they know today, it's not gonna be like a 12 hour Washington DC day. It's not gonna be like a 12 hour New York City day, but it's definitely not gonna be two or three hours. So hoping to be able to pace ourselves, figure this out and show that even though you probably shouldn't do it this way, if you have a kid, it can still be done. Yeah, that's step number one, wear your baby out. Step number two is bring your hot wife. <laughs> Step three is pack as many bags as possible. Um, is this food? Drinks? Well, um, this is much easier than the diaper bag. Oh, so. we're taking that instead. We're only taking one bag? Yeah. Core, core. All right. Yeah, so this is, yeah, I got our food and him a change of clothes and diapers and wipes and a burp cloth and our carrier. Like, it takes okay. a lot of... A lot of stuff, but we'll be minimal today. Yeah, ironically, this is a camelback. It's meant for carrying water. We actually have zero water in this, so we'll just have to figure that out, I guess. We can always grab something to drink, I guess. GoPro check. Big camera check. Put this bad boy right here. Assorted drinks check. And like drink. There you go. The coffee, water, water, more coffee. I think we're good. We good? We're good. Let's roll. Rise that.
to defend Charleston from foreign invasion. In reality, the fort would be the flashpoint in a war between Americans, where the nature of the Union and the meaning of freedom would be changed forever. What were the rules for the fort? Can we run in there? No. Can we pick things up and take them home? No. Can we climb on the cannons? No. Can we walk around and see what we find? Yeah. Yeah. So we're taking a tour out to Fort Sumter. I'm gonna get our history lesson in today. It's really neat kind of seeing it all in person because you've read it in books and you've learned about it. I'm gonna need a refresher, it's been a while, but it's just really neat getting to see history kind of unfold. And one of our patrons mentioned this. I don't know that we vacation to Charleston all the time. We've never been here. I've never been here. I love Charleston. Yeah, I've we been love here it. on like multiple girls trips. Mm -hmm. This is such a Me too. fun. It's such a fun area because it's got beach, but it's got history and it's very charming. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I've never done this the, as many times as I've been out here. I didn't even know this was here, so. You ready to go see a fort? Yep. Yep. So I'm gonna say is I'm gonna say yep. 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 Stepping back in time, this is cool. Except for the 200 people from our boat coming in. <laughs> <laughs> so this hasn't been without its hurdles so far. Marissa forgot the passy, had to make a run for that right before the boat was about to leave. <laughs> we showed up and we're like, well, what if it's sold out? We didn't think of that. We did get in, it was close to being sold out. So, interesting stuff. Picture spot. black part they built World War II, right? They use this as a submarine spotting station or something, I think, in World War II. Everything else is original, though. This is everybody that fought here in 1861. 3,000 shots and shells sent this direction during that time period. How many people do you think died? Zero. Zero people died during that bombardment. That is the most of a ranger talk I've ever got to hear in my life. <laughs> Hensley, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for what? <laughs> you did good. She was quiet. She was still. I'm loving it. And I didn't climb. You My did not climb. You didn't get on the cannons. You did awesome. You ready to walk around? You want to explore? Mm -hmm. See those cannons? Aren't they big? Isn't that crazy? But those are too small. So there were two big ones mounted up top. I think those came later after this was built. Um, but they could shoot eight miles. That's what they said. So here's one of the projectiles that came into the fort. Oh my goodness, look at that. Can you imagine being in here while that's getting fired at you? Said there were several projectiles on this side of the wall over here. And of course, the thing that Fort Sumter's best known for is its extremely loud seagulls. It's where the, it's where the first shots of the Civil War took place. There's another projectile over there. Another one over here. You see that, Hensley? No! Hensley, you see it? That's a big cannon. It's a cannon, it is. It's on the carriage, isn't it? Place where someone put their hand in there like that. Here's some fingerprints. Here's some fingerprints. Now these bricks were made by slaves all one at a time. Not like today's world, but one at a time. When the slaves made the brick, they'd pound them into a mold and they'd pick the brick up and move it to an oven to fire the brick. And when they moved it to the oven, they'd left their fingerprints. So those fingerprints there are probably sneaking up on 200 years old.
It's incredible. It's such an important piece of history. It's crazy to think like, I don't know, I just picture people being here and you know, like he said, each one of these bricks was made by slaves and they're protecting a fort that was standing against something that was against their freedom. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's like- It's really ironic. It yeah. is. It's so this is started to be built around 1830. I think they said it took them 30 years to totally finish it. You know, the War of 1812, where the British came in and just cleaned house on a lot of this stuff. After that, they said, look, we need some forts. So they built, I don't know, I think they're like 40 forts or something like that in the United States at that point. And so the United States was owning and occupying this in 1861. But South Carolina has seceded from the Union, or the US, or Union, however you want to call it. Um, and that's why the first shots were fired, because South Carolina is like, look, get out of the fort. Don't sit there right next to us. The Union did not want to get out of the fort. The shots were fired. The Union did eventually leave. So at that point, it became South Carolina's fort, I guess, or the Confederate, you know, the Confederate's fort at that point. Yeah, they could fire eight miles away. Eight miles? Eight miles. They said the bridge was four miles away. So twice that distance. When South Carolina was taking this back from the Union, they fired, I don't know what they said, 3,000 shots or something like that, but nobody died. Like they, they messed the fort up some, you know, they caught the fort on fire and they had to start doing repairs, but nobody was killed. And then uh, South Carolina allowed the Union soldiers to not only do, a, I think it was a 100 gun salute before they left um, and use their boats to go to the Union. So they're being very considerate. Even though nobody was killed in the battle, when they were doing the salute, that's where the first death occurred in the Civil War. Uh, somebody was accidentally killed during that salute. Zero deaths during the battle, <laughs> first one during the salute. It was originally built you know, the Atlantic Ocean to protect this inlet coming into South Carolina against the British or invading armies and that kind of thing. So this used to be three stories until it was attacked in 1861 and then it just you know, you got to tax some other times too. But. Oh, wow. You're going to get tested later, Hensley. See if you were listening. <laughs> there you go. Good job, Junior Ranger. It's one of the cool ways to get around Charleston is the water taxi because it's got four different locations. It can drop you off and it's $12 for an all day pass. They also have some free downtown bus system too, or there's lots of trolleys and carriages and there's tons of ways to get around Charleston. But we're doing the water taxi today, aren't we, Hensley? Yeah. This is pretty, isn't it? I don't know, it's out here somewhere. One of these is a water taxi, Hensley. Yeah, that's pretty over there, too. Look at the way the sun's hitting. Wow, this is nice. Oh, pretty view over there, too. So this isn't gonna help us, but at least we've learned this, so I thought I would share it. So we were right up here, but they said they couldn't let us walk down this dock to get to where the water taxi's at right here. Because that's supposed to be like a private entrance for uh, for the ship tours and all that. So we pretty much walked down the road all the way around here, through all that, came down there, and the water taxi we're probably gonna get on, or we might get on this one, is actually way over there at Dock A, like that red roof over there. But we had 45 minutes to kill, so because we did not time this right. Is it worth it over parking in Charleston? I may not be able to tell you for sure because I don't think we're going to park in Charleston. Right now though, I can see this has kind of been a pain. <laughs> ah, it's beautiful though. That takes your mind off of it quite a bit. Waterfront Park, Charleston, beautiful. Isn't this beautiful, Hensley? Yeah. Here. We're checking, we're checking on it. 
Can I touch the GoPro? Yeah. Touch it? Yeah. JJ. Did you spoop your pants again? <laughs> Just change it. What'd you get? Strawberry. That looks yummy. What is this? Chocolate. Belgian gelato. This is like um, pretty much as soon as you step off the boat and get past the fountain. So, had good reviews though. Which one do you like better? Chocolate or strawberry? Chocolate. Oh, you do? Yeah, and strawberry. No, no. You said you like chocolate better. Okay. If you can only have one, chocolate or strawberry, which one would it be? What? Mixed? Wow. Okay. So the boat taxi was, uh, what, 12 bucks all day or 8 bucks one way. So if you're going to use it more than just one way, you just get the all day. So we got the all day, what, 36 bucks for the three of us, I think? Mm -hmm. So I think by the time we went to downtown, pay for parking, if you're already in the area of a taxi, it might be a good option. I can go there. Go into the market. Go into the market. Got my... Uh, Got my eyes and my spoon. And my spoon. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Wow. They say established 1807. Yeah. Go see if Daddy sister. The globe. Yeah. The mermaid. These are cool. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look at these, Hensley. These are cute. Yeah, that's cool. I don't even know how many buildings. What were we, like six buildings or something? There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. And like we didn't even we didn't want to torture ourselves by getting into the food section. There's like <laughs> two or three more buildings of food. It looked like. What was your favorite thing you guys saw? What was your favorite thing you saw, Hensley? Did you like the snow globe that you shook? Yeah. I like looking at the handmade, which every a lot of it's handmade. A lot of it's shirts and things like that. But the baskets they weave and just watching them make the things handmade. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. The metallic stuff's definitely my favorite. <laughs> so cool. Charleston though is just, oh man, it's just beautiful, isn't it? Well, look at this. It's so pretty. It's just beautiful. The architecture's beautiful. I love the history, but then you're right by the beach too. It's, it's, just, it's a beautiful area. I love this area man. so much. Even suburban guys doing it. It can be done. There we go. Good job, suburban guy. I think we found the right spot. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You ready to get your Instagram on? <laughs> I'm looking this one up. I looked it up. How much do you think it is? I'm guessing in the millions. <laughs> Not millions. Really? 1.995 million. <laughs> so I, was gonna, I was gonna say a couple million. Oh, yeah. so. Four bedroom, three bath, 3,800 3, square feet. I would love to see it. 103 East Bay, in case you're curious. There you go. You too. You live on Rainbow Road and have people in front of your house taking pictures <laughs> <laughs> and vlogging. <laughs> cool. I guess that was gonna be repainted at some point. That's not very rainbowy down there. Cats and everything. Oh my goodness. It's like a photo shoot. Yeah, if I was gonna pay two million for a house, these are cute. And I like the idea, but a little bit of a lack of privacy here. Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> 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 Now, when these houses were constructed, on the first floor was merchant shops, private residence, guest house above. The ships quite literally docked right across the street. That guy's got some good info. You got info like that? Where you go? 
He's pretty much just reading Wikipedia. That's what I was reading. <laughs> well, he has Wikipedia memorized. That's the difference. He does. Well, there's the water. Yeah, he said the ships are right across the road. They're a little bit farther away now, but that's, I didn't realize we were that close to the water. Yeah, the battery's right there. Oh, wow. So the battery is a really cool area. But these houses were built in like the 1700s and a fire came through and kind of destroyed most of the neighborhood, but they were restored in the 30s and 40s. I think there's 13 of them that were bought up and kind of restored and painted bright colorful colors. So it's really beautiful here. You like that spot? <laughs> That's good. You're doing a good job, isn't it? There you go. Go. How many people do you think know what that noise is? Are you really doing this? I don't know, am I gonna do it? You gonna let me do it? Would it be distracting to sum up with that noise? Probably. In the meantime. <gasps> you think we'll ever look back? And be like, what were we thinking? I think we'll look back and say, wow, I can't believe how much energy we had. Even though in the moment I feel so tired, yeah, no. tired but <laughs> I mean, that's been a little more difficult is exploring after we don't get much sleep at night with the baby, which he does great. He just sleeps, which kind of backfires yeah. at night, but it'll he, backfire. We'll pay for it tonight. <laughs> won't we, buddy? He's but it's, geared up. It's hard to, get, to have that awake time when you're just yeah. either riding in the car or wearing them or there's not that like lay down and play kind of time when you're exploring so it makes it a little bit difficult it's tough it's tough juggling it we're, out. we're trying to find our groove in all this start yipping and yapping you're dying to be on the video again. <laughs> tell them what you think about it <laughs> so it's just an insane amount of stuff to do in charleston and not just all nature or all city stuff just such a variety and smorgasbord of awesome things to do and we just we love we love this area i had so much tagged on our travel map for the Charleston area because there is so much to do here. And so Marissa's made an insane amount of different stops and things to do and places to see and there's no way we could possibly see it all but if you guys are coming to the South Carolina area uh, we've got a map created for that that does take us time to get out and we also like to go back after the fact and plug in the videos and plug in links or if there's anything at all that we've got about South Carolina going on one of the things people are asking for was hey we love to have those maps love for you to share the GPS locations so we've taken the time to share all that and we want to share that um, with patreon at lessjunkmorejourney.com slash patreon we've got other maps too on patreon as well that we've shared and we want to include this in the list <laughs> yeah yeah you like South Carolina it's so much fun isn't it yeah, this is definitely a really fun state. Mm -hmm. There's a lot to do. It's so beautiful, and I forget how beautiful it is until we get back here and then think, wow, it's just one of the most pretty states. Yeah. Is it your first state that you got to travel to? Unless you count going through North Carolina for like five minutes. <laughs> to get here. <laughs> <laughs> but pretty much. I'm tired. Marissa's tired. Hensley's got to be tired. Surely to goodness. JJ is raring to go. Plenty of energy. <laughs> So we're gonna wrap things up, see how things go tonight. I'm banking on it being a long night. Maybe not, we'll see. You gonna sleep, buddy, or you're gonna keep us up? He's looking pretty awake. <laughs> <laughs> All right, till next time, we'll catch you guys later. <laughs>